actually cover some Resident Evil stuff, shall we? The Orphanage. So if you guys are not wanting to see any new spoilers or whatever, jump out of here right now. Uh, but this is all stuff Capcom released. So it's not stuff like that was hacked or, you know, stuff like that. So these are just screenshots that Capcom released today or gameplay that Capcom let people play or trailers. So there is a new section in the game uh, that is the Orphanage. We had thought it might have been a school. I think my uh, number one Resident Evil video was about the school uh, that we predicted based on a bunch of different screenshots way back in June or July or whatever, whenever E3. And it looks like it is going to be an orphanage in the game. Uh, this is the screenshot we originally saw from back in the day. Uh, so while I'm talking about this, you guys put your thoughts in the chat about the orphanage. And that way, when I get a little pause, like a little mini cat, a little pause, I will uh, throw the chat up on screen and we'll discuss some of your comments. I want to do more interaction today than usual. Uh, so also in this photo, you'll notice there's three gravestones at the bottom. I really want to check those out. It's not really that exciting, but I definitely want to see who's buried outside of there. Uh, Rob said the orphanage is kind of like a school. Yes, I agree. I, I, I haven't watched my, my the recent video about the zombie girl, but I think orphanage was thrown out there by people as well uh, when we talked about the school. So it'll be interesting to see this because that's new. It's not in the original Resident Evil game. Whoops. Uh, here's another screenshot of the orphanage, just of the actual area. It, it looks kind of small, but this is again a lobby. Resident Evil is obsessed with lobbies. They love two-story, three-story lobbies where you walk in, you see a staircase. It's just classic Resident Evil. And, you know, the, art, the police station is like that. The mansion is like that. Code Veronica had a mansion like that. Like, that's classic Resident Evil. And here's another shot. This is uh, Sherry, who is uh, probably trapped in the orphanage, I think, by irons, maybe. Uh, not exactly sure how that's going to work, because... We do know from before that she does get kidnapped by Irons. I think this takes place after any like locks her in the orphanage or something, but maybe not. Could be wrong on that. And then we've got this really brief clip. So let's check that out. There has to be a way out of here. So that's was that was appended to the end of the trailer, which is um, wasn't that exciting, and it was like two seconds long. Where was the volume on that? I think it was a little, little low there. All right, so we'll be ready for the next one. Uh, this is a this is not a screenshot from the game. This is from just like an artsy drawing. So it might be. I always thought this was before the game, but she is kind of in a room with a window, so uh, this might be an interpretation of that part from the game. Uh, Rick says, be careful, there's major spoilers on YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of spoilers, and I'm not going to cover them, so, I mean, I'm going to see them all. That's the, uh, I'll fall on that sword. I did it for Resident Evil 7. It kind of sucks, but that's the price you pay for being the million dollar man. Uh, and I like to look at them so that I can make sure to avoid them as well. And so you can send me them. That's fine. I, I might send you back like, I don't like spoilers, but it's okay. Uh, I'll review them. I'll see, you know, where they came from if they were, uh, basically, you know, released by, not by mistake, but on purpose by people who don't care. Uh... And as we build up to the game and, and right before the game, you're, it's all going to be released. It's going to be really annoying. Here's another screenshot of Sherry. Uh, she's in this room here, and I'm guessing she's locked in there. There's the door. 
And then this is an older screenshot. It's a picture of her family, but I see like a dice over there and some books, and I'm pretty sure it's like that desk in the corner over there. So I think this picture might actually be in there, but why would Sherry be at the orphanage in a room? Why would Iron give her a picture of her family? So maybe that's, I don't know, not there. And then this is from a previous trailer or gameplay, and it's Iron's talking to Claire on the phone, on a computer, and you can see there's kids' drawings in the background right behind him there. And it could be his office, like his daughter or something. I don't know if he has a daughter, but that is something. That could also be another room in the orphanage where he has taken her to the orphanage, and now he's maybe watching Claire on the security system or something like that. Mike says he doesn't have a daughter. All right. Uh, and then there's this little girl. Uh, again, I, I saw, I now know who this little girl is through a spoiler, but uh, looks like it's either a zombie or turning into a zombie. And she might have something to do with the orphanage section. Not 100% sure. Uh, and I'm going to review that. Uh, Review the source of where I figured out who this girl was, uh, thanks to one of the commenters. And it feels like a spoiler right now, so I'm not going to say it. But it'll be interesting to see the role of this girl, no matter who she is, if she'll be in the orphanage, if she'll be an enemy. We've talked about this in previous episodes. Don't really want to you know, go over it too much again. Just wanted to kind of talk about this new area of the orphanage. And then just see, are you guys excited that the there's a new area? Do you want to see more new areas? I mean, obviously, I think everybody would like to see more and more and more. Do you think the orphanage is enough, or do they need to give you another new area? Like for maybe for Leon, I don't. We we're guessing Claire's here because Sherry's here, uh, but we also know now that we play the game as Sherry. We play the game as Ada, separate from the main characters during portions of the game. So this might be Sherry's section, the orphanage. And then zombie kids is the other thing that, you know, are there any z orphans left? And have they become zombies? This girl looks like she's becoming a zombie as well. So she might be in, like, the middle process and might not even be an enemy. Uh, and we don't have to talk about... Uh, they won't let you, like, shoot enemies and, or, you know, kid zombies and stuff like that. I don't think it would uh, be a far fetch to have them in it, but you definitely wouldn't be able to attack them or anything. Uh, Quan says, no need for new area. You mean to reveal new areas, but I'm saying, what about if they're in the game or not? Yeah, I, I kind of wish they wouldn't reveal the stuff. I mean, I'm part of it. Um, once Capcom releases it, I release it. That's just what this channel is. So I wish Capcom would release less stuff, but uh, they do want to build up the hype here. And they're trying not to show too much, but they're showing a lot, especially today. And we're going to cover that. I believe it was 27 new screenshots today six to ten minutes of gameplay and then they released it to uh bigger youtube channels to play and then they've released it so now like i mean there's just so much footage i know every square inch of the rpd at this point i've seen it all i've seen every room I, now i kind of know some of the puzzles it's like a lot of stuff if you watch this we try not to give away anything that capcom didn't already give away themselves but I know Cat from Capcom is saying, uh, tweeting stuff like, uh, you know, be careful about spoilers and stuff. But uh, her company, Capcom, is the one releasing this stuff, so we show it. All right, let's go to the chat. See what you guys are talking about. Goldman says, "I want to see Ben." I saw a picture of Ben in his jail cell uh, so from someone, like when I was off. And, like, when I was off from YouTube, I was off. I didn't go on Twitter. I didn't go anywhere. Uh, I, I went on Facebook because it's connected to my real Facebook. So I did see, like, one of the messages from someone, and it was a picture of Ben. Uh, Goldman said, is there a trailer coming this week? There are two trailers. They came out today. I didn't post them because they were, like, mini clips. So I posted the important clips from them as separate videos. Uh, Mike says you can shoot Mr. X hat off and get a trophy. Yeah, that would definitely be a trophy. Uh, I haven't seen the alligator. I haven't watched all the footage yet. 
Uh, and I think that they would try to hide that alligator. Uh, again, like Rick said, a lot of spoilers are happening today and this week. So let's move on to Kendo's Gun Shop. This is my favorite thing. I also wish they didn't kind of show us who Kendo is. So if you don't want to see Kendo, jump out right now. But, I mean, it's not that exciting. Uh, and let's watch ourselves the original oh the music went off whoops anyway let's watch the original freeze who are you what are you doing here don't shoot i'm a human Ooh. sorry about that babe i thought you were one of them What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue. To... By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. So that is the original game. That was Claire's section. It's weird, like Leon is doing Claire things and Claire's doing Leon things. I actually think there's going to be some kind of overlap. But that is how Kendo's story kind of started and ended all right there. That was the whole thing. And he was one of my favorite characters just because of the line, who are you, what are you doing here, and the way he talked to Claire specifically. That's why I should Claire's section instead of Leon's. And now, let's take a look at the new Kendo, and then we'll talk about the old, the new, what the new Kendo could be, stuff like that. But let's watch him first. I told Lieutenant... Good luck getting that. said don't move i'm just passing through i'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon i kill you on so that is the new kendo sorry i screwed up in the beginning on that there was some dialogue between leon and ada walking up to kendo's shop they were basically just talking about umbrella and the stuff we already know from the original resident evil 2 so kendo's gun shop in the game you see there he did not say who are you what are you doing here And that is one of the best lines ever, so I'm really hoping that Claire will run into Kendo as well at some point in the game, and he'll do that. Uh, the other thing, I, I did a whole video on Kendo today, so check that out on the YouTube channel. But basically, the questions asked were, is he going to talk like that again in 2018? I don't think they're going to have him say darling, sister, you know, babe, all those, uh, that type of language, which was kind of made his character funny. Um in my opinion. Uh, and he seems a lot more serious in this than he was in the other... I mean, he was serious in the other one, but it was a cartoon, so just he felt not so serious, and here he's like, seems to be serious. Welcome, Straight Edge, to the Crimson Army. So, Kendo's Gun Shop, um, Ada appears to come in with Leon. Uh, there's a bunch of items in here and stuff like that, an extension for the weapon, but a lot of people thought Kendo might be like the merchant and sell guns. Uh, that's not going to be the case. You're just going to maybe find some additional ammo and stuff. By the way, welcome to everybody who's jumping in. We have over 100 people right now. A bunch of the Zomb Squad in the house. Uh, here's Kendo. He's got the shotgun, so... Is he missing his hand? 
Nah, I don't know. He might be missing a thumb or something. He might have been bitten already. I can't really tell. There's a glare on my TV, but... So he's got the shotgun, which uh, we haven't seen the crossbow at all. I don't think the crossbow is going to be in the main game, but I think it might be a uh, unlockable item, possibly if you beat the game. One of the things I missed uh, when I was gone was all the all the different uh, the lights just went out. All the different what was I gonna say? Sorry, the light went out and it freaked me out. Uh, I all the different costumes and stuff like that. I know they did a bunch, of, a couple of videos on that, and I wasn't really into the costumes. But uh, I, I know there's going to be some unlockables, and I'm hoping maybe the crossbow would be an unlockable, even though it's the worst weapon in the game, possibly. And let me plug in my light real quick. Oh, look how beautiful I look now. All right. All right, let's check in with the next couple photos, and then we'll talk more about Kendall. What's up, Big Daddy? Welcome to the Crimson Army. Here's a close-up of Kendo. And here's this one right here. I mean, he may as well be one of the Baker brothers. Like, he's got the flannel on. He looks like he would live in the woods. He's a weapons guy. This guy would fit in well with Jack and Joe Baker. And I bet they took a little influence from that since they're using the same game engine, stuff like that. Uh, here's kind of a zoomed out, uh, low quality shot of him. He's got a big canteen on his side. It looks like he's got some other big things on a utility belt. And his utility belt is actually connected to his neck. You can see there. Uh, in the original, he had suspenders on. This one, this it's holding up his belt. So he's really going to be like, you know, he's the perfect person to be in a zombie apocalypse. And I think he's still going to die first. Like... And there's just zombie movies. There's always like that one guy who's like crazy survivalist and then they end up making a mistake. So uh, what do you guys think of the new Kendo? And do you think he's going to have a big impact on the game? And we'll go to the chat to find out what you guys are saying. Biomedia says Kendo looks sexy as hell. Mike Harrington says redneck life. Colton says he goes fishing with Barry Burton. Apple Pie says looks good. Finboy says welcome to the gun shop, babe. Quack says digging the tactical kendo. That's a weird way to spell it. Tactical was that? Is that a word? Like a fake word? Those are. <laughs> somebody said that's a load-bearing vest. That was a good one. Those are load-bearing walls. Uh, Z Zill says uh, Kendo looks like a Walking Dead character, and I I agree that he feels very Walking Dead, very you know Night of the Living Dead. Uh, whereas all the other characters just seem like regular characters. This guy seems like he's set for a zombie movie. We will work on my speed here. There we go. All right. Now we get to talk about Ada Wong. Uh, that was another thing. I think a couple days ago, I, I vaguely saw something in my email or something, and uh, about her reveal. And then I remembered when Residents of Evil got uh, strike for showing Ada, and I was like, uh, I don't know. But it looks like Capcom has officially revealed Ada. We know we can play as her. We can play as her as in the game as a character and let's check out her new toy it's secret weapon time Candy from a baby. 
It tastes just like candy. So the roaches are back, but they're not attacking her. And here's basically showing you how you have to follow these wires and continuously find these yellow boxes to unlock doors and stuff like that. So what do you guys think about that? <laughs> because it doesn't look like Resident Evil. It looks annoying. It doesn't look fun. It's not survival horror. It's like Metal Gear or something even more futuristic than that. Remember, this is 1998 as well. Um, this little clip that we just saw here is one of the least exciting things I'm, um, or one of the things I'm least excited about because I, I hate it. And then basically what you have to do is you have to aim at the thing and hold down the button and then a circle goes around. I don't know if you guys ever played Friday the 13th. Uh, the new one for PlayStation whatever and you have to go like start the car and to start the car you can't just press X you have to hold X for like t 20 seconds and while Jason's coming at you so you have to think should I let go and run away or should I try to hold on and it kind of sucks uh, because I hate that you know have someone chasing you and you can't open the door and then they hit you and it's just so frustrating but the fact that she's aiming this stuff uh, is crazy. Uh, Dan uh, Finboy has a good point. Umbrella has access to the future. I, I agree, but still, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want it in there. Angel Snake says an exploding pen would be better. I still think her glasses are gonna explode when she takes them off. Uh, but it does look like the glasses were probably just to throw us off, possibly. Um, here's another picture, the artsy picture of her with her little device. And this is what it is right here, guys. It's an EMF, electromagnetic field visualizer. And it looks like a Star Trek taser. Well, not really. Uh, well, actually, actually, Barry, that's not what a Star Trek taser looks like. It reminds me of some kind of sci-fi taser type thing phaser taser uh, or a ta regular taser and it shoots out an electromagnetic field that I, I don't know shows you where the wires are and then you follow wires it seems really dumb uh, Doughboy says Wesker gave it to her I bet he did uh, here is from the game we'll go full for this uh, use the EMF visualizer to track wiring and hack electronic equipment. You basically just aim it like a weapon and you hold down the button. And then here's the description. A device capable of detecting and projecting EM fields onto walls in real time. It can also be used to remotely control some electronics. Oops. So... If you guys remember, in the original game, this little section right here, you found the valve, and you turned the valve handle, and that opened up that, or stopped the fan from moving, and you crawled up. This is obviously different. Uh, the questions are, would Leon and Claire be able to use this weapon? Weapon? Item? Whatever tool? Hacker tool? I don't think they would. And then... We, I do know that there is a valve in the game for other sections, so perhaps this is all Ada this time, because before Ada and Leon were around here, so we'll see, But or maybe Ada opens it up first and then Leon can come through later. Uh, that makes more sense, but but yeah, just watching this cl these clips right here, it's, I don't, I don't want to follow a blue wire. Like, what other game is that in? I feel like that's in like Zelda, some other games. The new Zelda, you have to, like, find out where the wires go. Is that Zelda? Um, and let next we'll talk about the G-Adult. Uh, I want to thank everybody for jumping in. 133-plus people in here. I see all the familiar faces up in the chat. You guys are crushing it in the chat today. 
And remember, if you guys got emojis, I love emojis, I love, make sure you stay on the topic of the chat so that I can go to the chat and then bam, we can see some of your awesome comments. A lot of great comments already today. And we shall talk about the G adult. Uh, let's watch some clips. Let's take a look at the G monster from the original game uh, when Claire fights it on this balcony thing. Also, remember to click the thumbs up. You'll notice that uh, this was a clip before I memorized how to play the game. Because with the machine gun, you can kill this boss like so quickly. Without getting hit once, easily. So that is how it... Uh, turned out in the original game and you saw that that's the adult G and it shoots out like little little G's and they are so annoying uh, face huggers whatever in every video game uh, Resident Evil Zero there's little things that crawl on the ground annoying uh, alien isolation so many games where there's little annoying things crawl out and try to get you and that'll be the case in the new one and let's watch Leon fight the new G. This should be a similar comparison. Uh, it might mutate a bunch of times or something like that. But if you look closely, you can see this guy shoot out the little guys. And whoever's playing is actually good at killing them and doesn't really get hit by them. So now I'm a big G. All about the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. You can kind of see his little head there on the side. And then there's he's shooting out those little things. And your self-defense weapons work against bosses in this. So that is... Leon versus G that uh, was part of the trailer today and you can see the monsters it's bigger it's it's you can't run past it it's trapped you in the sewer down there uh, and we'll go over a couple of these screenshots Scoob says the mouth looks like the plant creature heads Mustang says it looks like it's like Le Lepotista from Resident Evil 6 I, I haven't memorized all the, the enemies in this game in the games of Resident Evil yet so I don't know I can't picture that. Quan says the eye is really terrifying. Wes says it's cool that they put the G monster in the sewer. James Brennan says fire, 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 fire. Finn Boy says the leeches crawl everywhere and jump at you. A lot of wasted ammo. And... Uh, 7OX says, I wonder what the death animations will look like. And uh, so I've s in these new clips, you can get killed by Mr. X. You can get killed by... And in all the clips, it's either edit it for the Japanese version or edit it for the video because it's just like a bunch of... Like you see your head about to get smashed and then it's like black screen, black screen, black screen. So we really haven't seen a great death scene yet. Uh, there's a couple of the zombie ones where they bite your neck that we've seen. 
but still just nothing really high quality yet. And I've noticed a lot of this, the videos that are coming out are so low quality. Uh, you can't zoom in on them or anything like that, which is interesting. Uh, Joseph said, is there a crocodile in there? This is the picture I thought there would be a crocodile at. I, I didn't zoom in on it. Is there a crocodile in this well, picture? So we'll go over some of these, uh, the, the additional screenshots down here. But uh, Welcome, Mario. It's me, Mario, to the Crimson Army. All right, let's get that music back on. Uh, here is the uh, artist's graphical rendering of the G monster. I don't know if Rick does the monsters as well, but this looks awesome. And you can see at the bottom there the little uh, youth uh, monster thing come falling out of that plant head. Uh, it does look like the Venus flytrap from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Welcome to the Crimson Army Mason as well. Thank you everybody who's hit subscribe so far uh, today. A lot of new subscribers today. Make sure you click on the thumbs up for the like. We hit 50 likes. Woohoo! We just hit 50 likes! Here is another one. This is the shot I think most resembles the original Resident Evil 2 one. Uh, Divine says, looks like something from the Thing movie. I still haven't seen the Thing. Or I haven't seen it in like 20 years. It's, I always forget to watch it. Somebody find out where that's streaming on and let me know. If it's on like Prime or whatever. Uh, here's Leon. Leon? He looks blonde. Uh, fighting the monster from a different angle. And here it is up close. Leon is going to get destroyed here. So yeah, what do you guys think about the G-Monster? Do you like these new bigger bosses? Uh, I kind of like them when they're more simple. And I really love the bosses in Resident Evil 2 because they're very simple. Uh, and when they get complicated, I start to like get annoyed. Like in Resident Evil 7, the octopus jack boss spider thing, whatever he was. Uh, I was like, oh, but the regular Jack as a human, I kind of like that. And as well as Joe uh, in the uh, DLC as well. So that is the G monster. And that brings us to Mr. X. Mr. X, one of the tyrant things that I never remember which kind of tyrant it is. But Mr. X, we've got a whole lot of stuff with Mr. X, starting with Claire's fight with Mr. X, and she f he chases you around through the thing. Remember in Resident Evil 7, Jack Baker would chase you around, and unless you were on hard mode, he would eventually stop, or you would go through a door and he would stop. And if you were on the hard, harder mode or madhouse mode, I think that only that mode, he would never stop, and it was it was annoying. This is another part of the game I don't like being chased by things. I like to explore, take my time, take a deep breath. But I, I understand uh, it, it can be fun to do this. But I don't know if you if you, you like kill him like in the first one. In the, so in the original game, Mr. X, you shoot him. If he dies, you get some weapons, and then he's gone. In this one, he might fall like Jack Baker did in Resident Evil 7, not drop any items, or maybe he will, but then get back up after like a minute or two. So you basically have to either run the whole time or knock him down, kill him, kill him, and then get out of there because he might be getting back up. So I'm interested to see how that works. Uh, and everybody is getting excited. Uh, CM Chris says uh, Nemesis is like that. And people are like, ooh, Resident Evil 3 Remake would be awesome with Nemesis doing the same stuff. And it's, van it's vanilla Coke, people are asking in the chat. Because there was no regular Coke. There was only vanilla Coke. Uh, Luis says, Mr. X hypes my dreams of a remake of Resident Evil 3. Divine says, getting chased puts me on the edge. Caligula says, you can't die. 
Rob says, why are there always multiple eyes and weakness to the monsters? Uh, they they don't do they don't seem to do a lot of original stuff. Although this is a remake, so. Uh, and then, yeah, so maybe the different difficulty modes are going to adjust what Mr. X does. And one of my favorite parts about Resident Evil 7 was Madhouse mode. Because you beat the game, whatever, then you do Madhouse mode. If, even though it was kind of the same game, it went in a little different order, I think. It was like, it felt like a new game. It felt like a new challenge. And I was like, that was the best hard difficulty i i hear evil within people like that hard difficulty but this was my favorite hard difficulty was madhouse mode in resident evil 7 because it altered the game a little bit and i hope they do something similar in this game and that could affect how hard mr x is or how long he chased you stuff like that uh hr zone says this is how mr x would be in the original if there weren't loading doors uh okay so let's watch the fight here the original helicopter hallway. Library. And you saw he opened the door, he didn't bust through the wall there, but you know he's gonna bust through some kind of wall somewhere at some point. Because Jack Baker did it. If you guys think the, the players in these videos are bad, wait till you watch me play. And then here you can see he doesn't care if there's other enemies, he'll still chase you. I think in Resident Evil 2, the original, if there was an enemy in the room, Mr. X wouldn't be in the room. In fact, I don't even think two different enemies can be in the same room in that game. Again, use of a defense weapon against a boss. And that is the extent of the battle that they show with Mr. X in the clips that Capcom released today. And here are some screenshots. So you'll notice he has a hat on here. And here, this is the RPD fight. Here he's in the back hallway, still got his hat on, and then, oh, his hat is gone, and uh, we're thinking that you're going to get a trophy for shooting his hat off. And not sure if that's going to make him weaker or stronger or what the deal is, but... Uh, and then Lewis says Mr. X footsteps add a whole new layer. Yeah, I had the volume down on that one, but I, yeah, I've been watching people's gameplay, and they're, like, facing a wall, and you just hear... And they're trying to use that Ada uh, thing to open a wall, so they have to stand there for seven seconds, and they're like, ah, and it just freaks you out. So there should be a lot of intensity. The footsteps are going to make your hairs on your heads and the back of your neck stand up. Uh, so that part is going to be fun, but still, I like, I like to, I like to remain calm, guys. Uh, and here you can see there's a liquor as well attacking you, along with Mr. X. So it's going to be tough, and on harder difficulties. Who knows how many enemies will be in a room at a time. Uh, different enemies are, are actually going to attack you at the same time. Uh, Resident Evil 7 did... I mean, all the enemies were all the mold, the mold things. So they did have different ones attacking you at the same time. But this one, they're actually different. The enemies are actually different from each other. Uh, here he is. Uh, earlier, we saw this same scene, and he had a hat on. Now he doesn't have a hat, but he chases Claire and Share Dog into the elevator. And now we'll just go over the final screenshots here. Uh, those were kind of the chunks of things that we wanted to cover. 
What do you guys think about Mr. X, the hat? Let's go to the chat. Let's go to the chat. Finboy says, I love how he just stares at his arm. Lance says, he looks like Jeepers Creepers. Apple Pie said, gonna play in the dark. Dark headphones, you have to have headphones. If you wanna really be scared, you turn the lights out, put the headphones on. And welcome to the Raiders. We've got over 170 people watching right now. Can we hit 200 before the end of the show? It's only 66 likes. That's not even 50%. Um, I don't. Rick says, "Do I think there'll be VR?" No, I don't think so. Uh, Josh says, "Did anyone see Birkin behind Mr. X?" Yeah, we talked about this in uh, previous um, previous theory chats. Uh, we know that Birkin comes behind and slashes him, and he actually fights Mr. X. So maybe we'll do like a review show at some point where we kind of review all the trailers in this one i brought back some of the old trailer stuff in the beginning but when i got to the end i was like we already have our show so we'll we'll do some cool stuff looking back uh, and hopefully not too many spoilers come out all right so do you guys recognize this room there's actually some clips of people walking around this room as well but it's not that exciting it just this room right this scene right here is my the best part of the scene i think but you there is a desk over there rebecca's stuff is on the other side wesker desk uh there's no 50 times opening the desk there might be some kind of like joke when you click on the desk about that and you can see uh the made in heaven jacket from chris this is chris's desk right here is electric guitar a bunch of awards on the wall this is the stars room, and it's different than the original game because there's a room inside the room. Uh, in the clip I saw, it was actually open. No, it was an office, and then I think there's an armory on the map. Uh, oops. You probably got to show you the actual screen. So in the uh, on the map, that was one of the first things I uncovered was the map, and I put it all together, and... The stars room uh, has an extra armory in it. So, this was one of the rooms people were excited to see. And after seeing it, I now realize why it wasn't that exciting. Uh, just to see it, it's going to be more exciting to be in it and click around and click on everyone's desk and see what Barry's desk is all about. Uh, Angel says, I will be clicking the desk 50 times, as will everyone, I think, no matter what. Like, you could tell me, like, a thousand people clicked it 50 times and nothing happened. I will still click it 50 times. I'm sure you guys will as well. Uh, this is just, uh, I don't know. You guys know what this would be? It seems like it's just the... Another room in the RPD. Not exactly sure why this is part of the screenshot collection, but I wanted to throw it up on there. Scoop says to try the desk 100 times. I'll try it 500 times. Uh, Wes says Chris's diary. Yeah, that's. Uh, we'll see what Chris's diary says in there. Hopefully it's still there. Uh, here's Ada. Ada and Annette have a little battle. And uh, there's some... Uh, not screenshots but like some clips of people playing through this section while they're commentating over it so the cut scenes aren't out yet but they're visually out but you can't hear them you can see that you can read them uh, if you want there just google or, or youtube uh, resident evil stuff uh, there's aid ada's uh, probably the best look at ada that there is without the sunglasses on Uh, here she is fighting because we're going to take control of her. She'll have at least a handgun and she'll have that, um, you know, hacking device. But we don't know what else she'll have, if she'll pick up any other weapons or if she'll just kind of go with the gun. And again, the crossbow, we haven't seen it. Not sure if it's going to be in it. Probably won't be in it, but who knows. And then this picture here of the Umbrella logo. This one doesn't show me anything, but it gets me 
it was my favorite screenshot of the whole thing because I see the umbrella logo and I'm like, oh my god, Resident Evil! <laughs> like everything else, RPD, that's fine. But the umbrella logo, that is... And in Resident Evil 7, the demo had the umbrella logo on a photo. So, I think this is the... F is this the first time we see the umbrella logo in anything in this game? From all the trailers and everything? I think there was a logo, like, when you're driving into town in one of the trailers that said, Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. And then there was a billboard at the top you could see in a screenshot. But this is, like, Lab Umbrella. Lab Umbrella. And I want to see Wesker. I want Wesker to show up. Oh, is this the, this is the crocodile alligator? Now I can see it over there. So this is the other screenshot. I almost didn't even include the screenshot. But you can see in that gate there's something slithering around and it must be the gator time. I'll, I'll pull that image down and see if I can like fix the lighting on it. They give you like these really be poorly lit photos on purpose so that you can't see it. If you like turn your color up in the game it's gonna look a lot clearer than all these screenshots. Uh, and I, I go through all the photos and all the frames and try to enhance everything I can. And if it looks good, I post it. But recently, haven't been uh, seeing it. Uh, Scoop says there's a video on this as well. Yeah, I haven't, haven't looked at all the videos. I, I didn't want to do it before this show and get all these spoilers in my head. So, And then here are uh, some more things released by Capcom today. Just little character... Uh, models, uh, Ada, Claire, Leon, Sherry, and Lady Zombie, Michael Jackson Zombie, and Cop Zombie. So that's it, guys. That was uh, about an hour. So let's go to the chat, see if you guys have anything else to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking the thumbs up. Maybe we can get to 100 before the end.